Hey guys, it's Golden Goofball, and welcome to the last episode of Shovel Knight, Plague of Shadows. Last time, we climbed up the Tower of Fate, fought the Black Knight and the other knights before we got knocked down by Shovel Knight. Now, we go into the final stage to fight the Enchantress and get her essence. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Again. But... This time with Plague Knight. And I feel like this is going to be a little more difficult. Yep. Because we don't have the phase locket. So I'm actually going to have to play a little smartly. Or at least try to. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well. I tried. Okay, here we go. Just like last time, go to the left. Unlike last time, we could just jump over that. <laughs> and here are five music sheets. Alright. Ooh! Before we go any further, this is my favorite setup. Do not use the sparkler powder. There's a good reason for that. It's because we're fighting the Enchantress. And if you'll remember, the Enchantress has platforms that are easily breakable. So do not use the sparkler powder. You will have no ground to stand on. Okay, I'm switching back to the vat. Wait, what? They actually don't... They actually... Oh. You know, I actually thought that they were act the platforms were actually there. And they would just appear. But they're actually not there. Okay, we're just gonna... <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. The ground can hardly keep up. Okay. We're at the final spot. Okay, I'm gonna get lob casing, and I think mm, powder is gonna do some damage to the floor too, probably. Um, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Ooh, I need to change that too. Because that's... Okay, Bullet Burst, I think, would be best for this as well. I, I have to change my entire setup. This is crazy. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this will go well. <clears throat> Plague Knight. Ah, so your fool's errand draws to a close. <laughs> you know what I'm after, Enchantress. And how important this is. Do not speak to me of importance. Your quest is fallen. You'll never be anything more than you are. So, you've come to rob me of my essence, to shape the world to your whim? Essence is insignificant, but you, my servant, must be reminded of your place. My place is by Mona's side, and you won't stop me. If you insist on dancing with them, then I shall take the lead. Same fight. Oh, crud. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah, that does... Ah, this is not going as well as I would have liked. Okay, it's not going terribly. Oh, okay. There we go. Ooh, okay. Ah, okay. She's down there now. Uh, I might be able to get some hits on her if I... Actually... Drop casing. Don't get to use that too very often. There's a good reason for that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna switch that back. <laughs> Probably not best... Best use. Okay, good. Okay. And I think... Ah, crud. Okay. I think I'm gonna switch back to the regular... Uh, burst. Not the spin burst. Oh, I am... Not in the best setup. Oh, only one more hit. Only one more hit. Only one more hit. Only one more hit. Yes! We've defeated the Enchantress. Killing me would be a waste of my energy and very powerful efforts. I'll make use of you yet, Plague Knight. Take what you will. Make your potion. But what you truly desire will always elude you. We 
we have the Enchantress's essence. She hasn't reverted back, so... To Shield Knight, so... Let's make the ultimate potion. With all the essences combined. Ultimate power is within my grasp. No, stop your assault, Plague Knight. Look, I brought someone. Plague Knight, come to your senses. You don't need to go through with this. Mona, you don't understand. I was too weak to say it before, but now I can show you I'm good enough. Black Knight told me everything. You don't need a potion to win me over. You already have. What? I... But it's too late. I already defeated the Enchantress and began, began the final distillation. <gasps> I was too late. I must go after her. You two touch nothing until I return. Where's all this power coming from? This wasn't in our notes. The essences are reacting unpredictably. Watch out! We are fighting a mirror version of ourselves. Or are we? Mona has been... transformed in trying to protect us. Now you'll notice, I'm not moving. He hasn't laid a finger on us. Not even touching him will, will hurt us. Do not move a muscle. You could fight him. That's not how I want to do things. You are steadfast in your resolve. Maybe there's hope for us yet. If you simply just do not touch anything, it moves on to the next phase. I could have fought him, but I decided it'd be interesting to show that, because I feel like not a lot of people see that. Okay, here's an interesting and difficult fight. Okay, I am going to get Big Boom to help with that. Okay. You break this, and then I'm going to switch quickly to the lob casing. And just throw it into his open mouth. Or her open mouth. It's open mouth. Whatever. Okay, switching back to regular casing. Yeah, it gets really hectic. Oh yeah, and also, clones of Mona appear. Do not touch these. Do not get near these. These are bombs. As you just saw. And also, there's a top half and a bottom half. The top half just, um, separated. So, and they both move independently of each other. Oh, ow. And they can do some pretty nasty damage. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, lob casing. Okay, okay, okay. There we go! Huh. Barely any trouble. Wonderful. And thus, the ultimate potion is ours. You did it. The reaction is stabilized. Oh, nice to see you, Mona. Glad you made it out alive. Wow, there it is. The ultimate potion. Well, are you going to drink it now? Heh. <laughs> I... I don't think I need it anymore, Mona. But we must take it with us. It's all we've been working for. My future as an alchemist is riding on it. Wait, I just got an idea. You know how much energy is contained in this potion, right? Yeah, <laughs> this much boom could easily level the whole tower. And be seen for miles in all directions. Mona, I love the way you think. <laughs> the bi bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist. Those bumbling townsfolk would throw us a parade. We could practice alchemy anywhere we want. We wouldn't have to hide away anymore. But you're holding the potion that could give you anything you ever want. Are you sure about this? I... I already have everything I could ever want. Let's blow this joint. The tremors from the explosions could be felt for miles away, and even un in the underground base. But there was no mistaking it. Plague Knight had destroyed the Tower of Fate, much to the villagers' jubilance.
Because of his bravery and chemical know-how, Plague Knight was invited to Pridemore Keep and was officially knighted by the king, while the deposed King Knight continued doing chores. Hearing of both of the knight's accomplishments, the citizens at the Trouble Fawn continued their celebrations, dancing the night away. Yeah. <laughs> they were even joined by Oolong, who was providing some of the music. At the Lich Yard, Spectre Knight sensed there was something amiss. And there, indeed there was, for his most prized possession, the now missing locket, was gone. A locket that will have more importance in the next series. The Iron Whale is where Plague Knight and his minions decided to get some much-needed retribution for the disrespect they endured from Treasure Knight. They resolved that pillaging the pillager would be fitting, and maybe a little something extra. Back at the Explodatorium, Plague Knight's minions were celebrating, doing all kinds of sciency things, <laughs> and even dancing around. But that's mostly because they were under new management from Percy and the Magicists, who were in charge of... chemistry. Plague Knight went to the Lost City to enlist the help of Mole Knight with his help. With his help, Plague Knight's cooperative cloning project was well underway. Mole Knight's main role was providing the necessary temperature. For the wandering travelers, they kept on their wandering and the helping those in need, even receiving help themselves from other heroes on occasion. But wherever they go, the battle rages on, even for Baz, who was still working for Plague Knight. At the Clockwork Tower, Mona and Plague Knight enlisted the help of Tinker Knight to fix some of the mechanisms that were malfunctioning at their home base, and so he got to work tweaking the torque lifts. And in no time at all, they were fixed. It was a cold night at the stranded ship, but after this whole adventure, the two shovelers, Polar Knight and the Black Knight, finally had time for a reunion. So they spent the night talking and enjoying each other's company. A beautiful sunset on the flying machine was the perfect setting for a romantic evening. Propeller Knight, of course, was happy to host this special evening. Just the two of them, Mona and Plague Knight. What happens next? <laughs> well... You're back! You're alive! Wonderful! I'm going to assume that explosion was your handiwork? Yep, that crusty old tower was an eyesore anyway. Amazing! I didn't get any rocks thrown at me today. I actually think the townspeople are actually grateful. Listen, Plague Knight, I know you made all these potions and blew everything up, all to impress me. I'm so flattered, really I am. I have to make a confession, though. You're not my type, I'm so sorry. You see, I fall in for a real man. I'm... Guys, guys! The villagers are all in the juice bar, and they want us to buy us a round! Let's go! <laughs> that sounds lovely, but I think we'll catch up later. There's science to be done! Mona? Let's get started, Plague Knight. There's no telling what we'll brew up next. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the end of this campaign. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm gonna let the credits roll and try and give my thoughts again, hopefully a little bit more succinctly this time. Um, yeah. My first experience with this was, again, on the 3DS. And 3D... Th this is one of my favorite stories. Again, I, I think I've said this before. But I, I just love the for lack of a better word, chemistry that Mona and uh, Plague Knight have. And it's, it's just... It's something else. Like, Plague Knight doesn't feel like he's worthy of love, even though... And he doesn't see that Mona loves him anyway. And it's... It, it's just really great. 
and how they tied everything together. Well, I say how they tied everything together. But, um, how you got different perspectives on the different bosses and stuff. Um. When we defeated the Enchantress, she didn't revert back to her original form. So I guess she was already weakened. And so, I guess it, it was kind of happening at the same time, fighting uh, Shovel Knight and Shield Knight fighting the Remnant of Fate, and Plague Knight fighting, uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, uh, I'll come up with a name later. But, them fighting their respective final bosses practically at the same time. It's an interesting concept. And I, I really enjoy it. If y'all if y'all are enjoying this, y'all should play this y'all selves. But it's on Steam. It's a really good game. Well, actually, that's one thing I forgot to mention. You can only play Sh Plague of Shadows with the Shovel Knight Treasure Trove collection. Which is one of the downsides to this. Um, you can buy Shovel of Hope, uh, Spectre of Torment, and King of Cards on their own. But because, I think it's because uh, Plague of Shadows and Shovel of Hope were so similar that they're, they're practically inseparable. So that's the one disappointing part about it. Because this is one of my favorite campaigns, honestly. Like, Shovel, Shovel Knight is still a good game and I still enjoy it. But this is, like, a little bit above it. And we have yet to play the others. Which are... Basically, all four of these are my favorite. <laughs> I, ca I can't just pick one. But it's really nice. Uh, yeah, the last playthrough we do is going to be the King of Cards. I don't know what that's going to be like. I don't remember the credits being this long. So... <laughs> oh, golly. I definitely died a lot more than as Plague Knight than with Shovel Knight. Oh my gosh. A majority of those are against Propeller Knight. Golly. It was so nice that they let that he let um, Mona and Plague Knight have that little little special moment up at the sunset over the clouds and stuff. That that had to have been so cool. Out of completion, 97%. Yeah, I didn't get everything. Like most of the cipher coins, I missed some. And I didn't get all the armor and stuff, but it, it could have been worse. It could have been like 99%, and that would have been really annoying. But, there's a little thank you for playing, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. And now, the final scene. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.